Welcome back to ASVAB Roadmap. This is the last video for the arithmetic section on the ASVAB before we move on to the mathematics section. Today we're going to learn about arithmetic word problems. So let's get started. Let's go over our learning objectives for this section. In this section you will learn to convert word problems to equations, use common predefined formulas to answer word problems. As you may have noticed, we already started sneaking word problems into the arithmetic review section you just completed. Word problems are simply math problems with another step added. Generally, all you have to do is translate the text into math and solve. In some questions, the translation will be embedded within a story. Don't be put off by the details of the scenario. It's the numbers that matter. Focus on the math and translate. Translation. Often, word problems seem tricky because it's hard to figure out precisely what they're asking. The following table lists some common words and phrases that turn up in word problems, along with their mathematical translations. When you see some, plus, more than, added to, combined, and total, think of addition. When you see minus, less than, Difference between or decrease by. Think subtraction. When you see is, was, equals, is equivalent to, is the same as, adds up to. Think equals. When you see times, product, multiplied by, or of, think Multiplication. When you see divided by, over, quotient, per, out of, into, think division. When you see what, how much, how many, a number, think variable. Word problems with formulas. Some of the more difficult word problems may involve translations with mathematical formulas. The most common ones that you should know are average, sum of the terms over number of the terms, probability, number of outcomes of interest over number of possible outcomes, rate, amount or distance over time. As always, let's do an example. If a truck travels 50 miles per hour for 6.5 hours, how far will the truck travel? Step 1. The question gives you the rate of the truck and how long that truck will be traveling. Step 2. The question asks how far the truck will go in that time. Step 3. To answer this question, you need to use the time rate distance formula. Multiplying both sides of the equation by time gives you distance equals rate times time. Now plug in the numbers. 325 miles is your answer. Step four, check that you performed the math correctly. All right guys, that's the end of arithmetic word problems. Now we're heading into the ASVAB mathematics knowledge section. The next video is going to explain to you what to expect on that portion of the ASVAB. There's a wealth of knowledge there and we're going to cover it all. So I'll see you there.